Okay, so if you've seen my uh, previous video, you know I've just had my new Gaia Satu and I'm going to change my cloche out. This is my stag who represents nature and the forest. So I'm just going to clear him out. The reason I like to use hot glue is because stuff like this, I can just peel this stuff back off my stag ornament. Now, this stag ornament's not perfect. Um, I did drop it the once and broke two feet off, but it's been repaired successfully with some super glue. Um, but then obviously for when I decorate for the seasons or the sabbats, um, I tend to do my, this close for the season more than a sabbat. So obviously this has been my winter one complete with Christmas tree. Um, I do like to use hot glue so I can remove it all from the statue without permanent damage. This is just a stag that I picked up from my local Sainsbury's. Uh, I don't know what collection it was from, but these sort of bronzy coloured, brassy bronzy coloured um, animals appear in um, Sainsbury's every year. Um, and that's where I've got like my little hedgehog card holder and everything from. So quite a good source of uh, altar decorations. Let's just see if I can get this off. Oh, I am going to reuse my stag, obviously. The stag is always on my altar space um, all year round because I find forests very peaceful and beautiful and... I want that representation of that forest and the feeling of being in the forest and the peace uh, that it evokes. I like to have that year round. So let's get rid of my elements. I've got some bark here, which I'm going to use. I've got some birch bark just because I saw it. And these are my pine cones, which I'm going to recycle. I just checked on the camera. I've got a project off to the side which you haven't seen the video of yet so I don't want to give the game away and again this is all stuck on with hot glue so it'll all peel off the leaves obviously aren't particularly stuck down with hot glue or at least I don't think I did oh I have in places let's get my lights out Okay, that's quite wrapped around the tree. So let's get these lights out. Hopefully without snapping the wires. Come on. Sometimes it's hard to get the wires out the hot glue. If I snap the wires, I'll just fix it. And then get the tree out. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right. So let's just put this debris in the bin. Right. Now obviously this base does get battered about. Um, and I have to pick off what's left of the glue. So I'm just going to sit here picking away at this like so. Okay, so I've made an absolute mess of my desk. Um, these spudgery things, if you've got a technical partner, they come in useful for jobs like this. I've just used it to scrape most of the hot glue off this. And again, the adventure of hot glue, I'm going to scrape it off. So what I need to do is touch up the paint. That's the back, so that's the way the cable goes if I put lights in the system. Come on. Probably not my paint, that is. Now, this is not the most smoothest, most perfect surface, but it's going to get covered up in a bit, so it doesn't matter. But what I do need to do is touch up the paintwork. Normally what I would do is sand this down completely, but because of what I'm going to do, I don't need to. Okay. 
because this is not really going to be on show once I've painted it. Mm -hmm. Touch up. And I've just got a small box underneath this just to support it while I'm painting it. And this is the same colour I previously painted it, so it will blend in fine as well. I'm going to get a nice thin even coat everywhere. And I'm painting this black instead of like green or something because black goes with my aesthetic, goes with my decor because the main colour in the majority of my decor in my room is black. So let's just smooth that out. Just trying to remove some of the excess. Okay. So let's dry that off a bit. And then I've got this lovely piece of wood which I've been looking to use on a project um, and I didn't know what I wanted to use it on. Just got this from a local hobby craft store. Again, I'm not sponsored by anything I'm mentioning here. This just happens to be what I've got. Let's see if I can get this label off a little bit more. I like this because it's still got the bark on it. Come on. Oh, why did I put these labels on? Oh, that'll do. I haven't got patience. So, uh, I'm going to have to because this side's got some stains on. Come on, stubborn label. It's always one bit. Come on. There you go, that's a much nicer side without any weird um, stains or anything. So what I'm going to do is glue this on top, hence the reason why I wasn't too worried about sanding down the base to this. So I've just looked at my dome to check, I'm sure this is going to still fit, because um, I'm raising obviously the 
goddess statue up a bit again not too much hot glue um, in case I want to remove this at a later day okay so I've got my base on and looks like this ignore the mess on my desk that's from peeling the other design off I've put a modesty, modesty um, cloak around her to protect me from YouTube's algorithm um, so let's put these somewhere near the front I've got to make sure though let's just move my stuff I've got to make sure that oh excuse me you stay there please I've got to make sure that this is all going to fit under the dome obviously so if I move her clear over a little bit let's have a look uh -huh, see so the wood pieces there will fit nicely shame I haven't got some more I don't want to put the I don't want to put the autumn leaves on. I'm gonna wait till I've got some Oh actually I've got some like fake berry things and I've got some flowers. So I'll probably be able to improvise some sort of nice bed for her to sit on or something. So let's get these cloche off. Put that out of the way so I don't break it. I've managed not to break that for about five years or so, I think. Um, so let's not, I'm going to try not to break it. So, first of all, I'm going to glue these pieces on. Just a little blob, just to hold it in place. Again, with the option in the future, I can take it back off. So I don't want to like, go mental with the glue. take them off put this on like so just a couple of blobs should do it now obviously I'm not gluing the statue itself because I don't want to damage it okay walk it walk because I really like the bark texture on this bark. Then I'm going to get some stuff to add on. If you can hear that rattling, it's just me walking past the snout out behind me. The doors rattle on it. Um, got some flocking. So I can make it look like she's sitting on a nice grassy field. Let's have a look. And what I do is I just spread a thin layer of hot glue and sprinkle, sprinkle. Like so. Obviously there's going to be a bit extra. There we go, it's looking nice already. So let's take you off a second. I'm going to go around. Like so. And touch up. Grassy texture. Obviously, the little bit of hot glue is just going to help it stick. Help it not go crazy everywhere if I so much as breathe on it. That's the hope, anyway. Now, obviously, I know normally you'd use PVA and spray it over the top and that sort of thing, but yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't like working with PV glue because it takes forever to dry and I'm impatient. So let's just check. Okay. 
So that's enough to cover around there. So if I move her forward, there we go. She's sitting on a nice green base. Just gonna put a bit more glue around this edge. Like so. Not too worried about the back because no one's gonna see it. But I'm gonna get these areas at the side that are blank. I would have liked it if this had um, the wood texture all round, but never mind. Can't have everything. Okay, excuse me a second, please. Let's just knock off. Just trying to knock off the excess that's around the edges and let's just see if that's still enough to cover around where she's sitting so i need more glue here A bit more around here. Okay. Change my mind. I'm going to do this bit at the back. Just seems a shame to leave it, since I've done the rest. And then what I need. Just off all the stuff that's around the edge that I don't want. There we go. Let's get rid of the wisps of glue. Come on. Okay, so we have a base. And a goddess statue sitting on the base. Do I want anything else? Do I want flower? Oop. Modesty, modesty shield nearly came off. I could have this behind her. Mm. Do I like that? I like the brightness. That's not going to fit with my case on there. Whoops, sorry. Uh, let's trim a bit off this. I'm going to try not to glue these on because I use these for other projects, but let's have a look. So I could have that behind her for a bit of brightness. Like it, can't they kind of represent the sun as well? So that's an idea. I'll knock some of the grass off, right? Let's have a look. Okay, let's try it with. One flower. Oh no, this is tricky. Got green all over this now. <laughs> right, let's try that there. And That one there. Oh, 
on a clean side to my glass. Hmm, okay, that's a possibility. All right, let's move that up a bit more. Sorry, I've just knocked the um, thing that the I, my camera's on. There we go. So I can have that as my sort of permanent uh, Mother Earth, Mother Nature cloche. I was debating whether to put my little forest spirit in there with her. I don't know. It'll technically fit, but I like the symmetry that I've got now. This is where we break everything. Right. So I could have my little forest spirit in there with her. Beans is it's carved from like a piece of tree cut from outside. Because I trimmed a tree in my garden, I kept a piece of the trunk. Or do I just want Gaia to be the focus? I think for now. Let's take you out. For now, I'll just have the goddess statue in here and the flowers. That's bothering me that it's on her leg. Get off her leg. Right. There we go. I think that will do. So I'll put my forest spirit back on my other altar. So there she is, sitting on a nice bed of fake grass with a bit of bark texture. I might get another couple of pieces of bark to go around the sides. Might add a couple more things to this. Um, but yeah, there's my Gaia statue in my glass cloche. So I can have like a permanent sort of Mother Earth display. I'll get some flowers that are a bit taller so I can actually get some height in here as well. I'd like to have it where maybe she's got like loads of ferns behind her. So she looks like she's sitting in the middle of a forest. But I haven't got any ferns left from when I did um, my spring clothes last year. I chucked the pieces because I broke them. So I'll get some more sort of fake fern leaves or something and have her in like a... Sitting in a bed of ferns, I think. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Obviously, I'm going to remove the modesty cloak. Um, that's just the YouTube modesty cloak. I should write on there, YouTube modesty cloak, shouldn't I? Um, so yeah, that is my statue of Gaia and how I'm going to display her. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Blessed be and bye for now.